21 kilogram weighing package from Japan. Some various Japanese flyers. Now I think that this might already reveal something. PlayStation 2 from Japan. So let's open these all up. Let's remove this tape. Now these are seven, oh no, nine Japanese PlayStation 2 games. So these are all for Japan only, so they're region locked to Japanese systems. So yeah, it's uh, Japanese. Dragon Quest. All Japanese. So they won't work on a regular system that is not from Japan unless it's been hacked or something. And let's review what I've ordered from Japan. I think I do. Because this is the infamous PSX from Japan. So it's PlayStation 2 with a DVD player system inside of this thing, which can record television and you can play it back. So it's kind of like the media box that we currently have, only this can also play PlayStation 2 games. And it smells quite funny. So this is how Japanese living rooms smell, apparently. It's big, man. I wasn't expecting it to be this big. There are the game controller inputs. It's a Japanese only console, but the, the labeling is in English. So that's really, really strange. So this is just your PlayStation 2 stuff with television inputs. Wow, this is big, man. And it's partially broken. Oh, wow, there are two IR receivers. There's one over here and there's one over here as well. Which is, wow, didn't knew that. So let's put this aside, because there's more. There is way more in the box. Obviously, since it's a home entertainment system, which also supports television thingies, you'd like to have a remote control next to your PlayStation 2 controllers. So this is the PS6 remote control. And I think it even allows you to control multiple PS6s because it has, a, it, it has a switch on the side. This is really cool about Japanese things. They just include everything you need to actually power this on. Even the power cable. Now I don't think that I'm able to power this puppy up, but I'm... Oh, there you go. This is 100 volt only because there are a few more things in the box. are two. Oh wow this is transparent. This is an original PSX controller and I think that it's also labeled uh, as a separate controller other than the PlayStation 2 because this is the DSR 10 model and PSX is the DSR 5000 something model. And if we take a look at a regular PlayStation 2 which I've got laying around over here we can see that it's the SCPH-1010 controller. So if we take a look at the regular PlayStation 2 controller, we can see that the model number starts with SCPH and not the ESR as the PSX controllers do. Are these media discs or something? Or are these also just games? It looks like they're just games. So what's this? It's, it's really, it's an experience. Only for the experience, I'd recommend that you do something like this. It's really an experience. You don't know what you're going to get. Well, obviously you know what you're going to get because there's a picture of it, but you don't know how it's going to arrive. And to be really honest, I forgot what else I was getting. So, so this has definitely been used and this has definitely been baking in the sun it's faded a little so let's open this up oh wow wow they include a character i think that that matches the character yeah that matches the main character in the game 
and it doesn't move but that's okay this is really cool now this is the, this, the kind of stuff you only get from Japan lift this up and let's and let's put this down This is also packaged really nice and it reveals this box Yo yodobashi.com Oh it's heavy Let's open this up Oh we can just tear this apart But we do need to be careful because I don't think that there will be another protective layer inside of this box So, so You already see it there. Eh? Wow, also a brand new, well, brand new looking game. Oh, the memory card's gone. Well, at least it's a memory card holder. I don't think that you get a memory card with each. And let's continue. Whoa, oh, the remote just unwrapped itself. So this remote is quite different than the other remote. And what's this? Oh, a memory card. Eight megabytes memory card in the matching color that the PSX has. So is this the same remote? No, it isn't. If we compare the two, this is the P002G and this is the P001. And basically uh, nothing changed, well, except for a few labels here and there. But the basic layout of the remote is still the same. It's still made in Malaysia. And it still accepts double A's. But this one is very yellowed. So I might go and do something about that in the future. Plus side that this one has is it includes the original booklets of the system. Uh, remove this. There you go. Original books. I think also in the original packaging of the books. So I guess that this book is the same as for the other PSX that I have. It looks like a PlayStation 3. And rumors are that this software is well basically practically the same as the PlayStation 3's but only for the PlayStation 2. Now it also looks the same as the PlayStation Portable software or at least the home screen. Which is also quite interesting. We've got a keyboard. Oh, oh yeah. I was just about to ask, can you connect a keyboard to the USB port? Well, the answer is yes. So it supports CD, digital audio, recordables, DVD-ROM. Oh, it also supports DVD write read. And rewritables. This is the original packaging of the PlayStation 2 DualShock. Or the PlayStation X PlayStation 2 DualShock. It's really cool that they included all of the original booklets in this in this one. You even have a DJ table that you can use with this thing. Oh, these are all the warnings I assume. Now this looks different than the other PSX. Because this is a later model PSX. This is the DESR 7500 model. And this looks a little bit fancier. Still has the USB ports. And it also has a digital video in, which wasn't there on the earlier model. Still has the quit game buttons and power and eject. Well, they feel really nice. There you go. I think that there are a lot more inputs on the other older model. Again, 100 volts, which I don't have. Again, no network port. I'm not sure why that is. It's strange that they made a Japanese-only game console really strange because it, it's really expensive to create such a standalone game console that only Japanese people can use. Now there are no audio video cables bonded with this one but this is still the original controller and this is the same controller as the other one that I have but it's yellowed massively. I'm going to try and do a retro write of this thing and I think also on this thing. 
So I need to find a transformer that can transform 230 into 100 volts and then I can show you this. So let's get this one on the table. So we can take a closer look at the PSX. Well it's big man, it doesn't fit inside my frame. Two sets of lights. So they've got these lights at the front, infrared receiver and the power LEDs, which I assume are embedded inside of the buttons. They've also got the same lights at the back side of the console, so it's the same with the other PSX. They're also at the back of the console, but why? Because if you've got it like this, well not like this, but if you've got it like this inside of your uh, cupboard, then why would you want to have these LEDs at the back when you can already see them at the front? So this is yellowed. I think that somebody had it open like this for when it was in their living rooms. But I think that this isn't yellowed because it has a clear layer of plastic on top of this and this doesn't. So it's amazing that this has been in somebody's home at the other side of the world and just arrived over here. Really strange if you think of that. So let me grab the other one. This also feels as solid as the other one. But this is pretty broken, that's a shame, but oh well. Maybe I can 3D print something. Can I remove this? Yes. Maybe I can 3D print something. Or maybe these are just available for sale. So this is less fancy than the other one that I have. But again, it includes these lights at the back of the unit, which is really strange. And this includes a little bit less connectors and inputs, but yeah, that doesn't really matter to me. Everything is in such a good condition, it's unbelievable. The cables are not damaged at all. And they are not folded in any strange way or something. Just people take really good care of their stuff over there. Also the games that came with this thing, it's... it's Let's see at the back of the disc. It's just clear. Hey, there you go, you can see yourself now. That's how I'm recording you. So this belongs to the older model PSX, because it smells the same. That's really cool. There are no PSX specific games, I'm assuming. But somebody did like Japanese Comic Con games or whatever they're called. Adventure games. These figures don't look familiar to me at all because we've got different figures here in Europe, Disney and all that. Who can say this? Two PSX's stacked on top of each other. Really, really cool. Now guys, I hope that you like this video. If you do, please don't forget to share this video with your friends. Also, let me know what you'd like to see me do to these things. I could try and see if I can get this thing to record some of my own videos through the UHF inputs. Please let me know down below what you think of this uh, of these PSX's. And I really hope to get you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And I will catch you later guys. Bye. Oh hey hello. Uh, I, I wasn't expecting you over here. Well, if you want, you can also view two other videos of me. So make sure to click them and don't forget to subscribe and like so you always get notified of my new videos.